Morning, Dad. Morning, dear. It's a lovely morning. Lovely morning. Been a little, bit, a little while since we did this. It has, I, I have. Uh, but mainly for the reason that word COVID comes in, doesn't it? It's um, I, um, it's difficult situations for everybody. And I think it's selfish players, me person. Don't put it me. Uh, um, players want to get paid to play. Won't have double jobs. If you have double jobs, it's fine. Would have been fine. Yeah, continue playing. People don't have a double jobs. It's selfish, but it's still what paid off us. So if you want to miss ten days training, get paid, and could be off for another ten days because we wouldn't have a job. I'm very strong on it. Um, people have got their opinions. I've got mine. So uh, if you fight their opinions, that fights mine. I think that people should be like uh, you know should get vaccination. I think everybody should get a double job as quick as they possibly can and play football again. And um, because what happens here, we have people in the rooms, so we have separate rooms downstairs, and they've got to sit at separate table. So if one of them catch it. My table's got it, so I've isolated. Um, but last week against Wrexham, everybody was on the bus with it, somebody who had it, so that's what we had to, you know. Sure. Um, so it started on a Monday morning when one player tested positive. What What are the actual rules about what happens from that moment on? If I if I, I, I told them we're only in their little bubbles, then that little bubble would have to get tested and all that. But you know. you'd just been to Wrexham and back yep. on a coach and stayed in a hotel. Yes, and together. So, he was there together. so they were in set tables for meals, were they? Yeah, but you're on a coach together. Yeah. If it weren't, it wouldn't have been that much of a problem. But did isolation only apply to the people that th this player sat with in a bay, or was it everybody? It was everybody because we're on the coach, but right. then right. everybody had to have the, the test down the centres, which we did do, and everybody come back neg negative. It was all fine, but the ones who had the jobs could continue training, the ones who hadn't had the jobs had to, okay. you know what I mean, still. So, um, yes, you know, we um, all all right from yesterday, we're all fine away, or for today, and they were fine again, everybody's back in, but um, yeah, it's been a bit of a do not, to be honest, you know. Yeah, I, I think it'd be useful for anybody watching this to be aware that uh, everyone sends in a test result every day. Every now, single day. Including myself, I've done one oh, for I, Christian Jolly. Yeah, but um, nobody else probably does it in our league, but we do it, we do it every day. Just to, uh, but to me, it doesn't sit well with me, to be honest. You know, you get all this, um, we went through a lot in life in the last two years, uh, thousands and maybe even millions or whatever dying and, and everything else. And, um, you know, um, and, you know, old people... You know, then all of a sudden people won't have jobs. It doesn't sit well with me, to be honest. Sure. You know what I mean? And it, it doesn't matter what their excuses. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's something more about in football. I'm not just talking about other lads, but some footballers, I think that's another 10 years off. Getting paid on that. I, I wish I had a new one what was going to happen. I wish. Because we didn't at the time. Because the next player I sign, I will never sign another player unless I have a good job. I'll never sign another one. Simple as that. It doesn't matter how good, because you're going to miss them. Um, you know, a couple of them come back, out again, come back, out again. We had a behind closed doors friendly yesterday. Um, if this happens to two lads who got injured or two lads who never had to have 10 days off because the bodies aren't right. So uh, if they're going to try to mess my season up, I'd rather either go up, to be honest, or get the jobs. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm not having any other way. I'm not... I'm not uh, you've got all these cracker jacks who are saying, not this, not that. It's pathetic. Get the things done, Nick. Yeah. Um, it was ironic because it was they had a discussion, you, you may have seen it, on Match of the Day, Gary Lineker and... In right another, and they were saying that this is going to cause problems. They were talking specifically about some players choosing not to be vaccinated, and they say as the season goes on, this is going to cause issues with games being postponed. And then 48 hours later, our games are off. Uh, I take a I've done quite well in management. People could see it very well, and I had to take the biggest whack off everybody what I've done last season, putting people on COVID, saving hundreds of thousands of pounds for a club, maybe even that. Go through all the rubbish that they got through last season. It, it knocked me management still because before that I had the best record in the country. After COVID, I probably had the worst. And I had to go through all the rubbish of blinking, saving money, saving money to get where we are today. Saving money, saving because the owners have come in and been brilliant. Where's me and everybody and uh, two lads, John and Drew, have come in with Graham on the board and Kelvin. They've been fantastic ahead. They knew a plan. Save all the money we can. Let's get a training ground. Let's get the food right. Let's get boss on the shirts. Let's do everything and all that, you know. And you save all that money to get this. And they're mess messing up. Some of these lads are messing up. No, if I don't want to get paid, that's fine. I wish I could put them on sick pay, that's what I do. But as a professional footballer, and you won't get a job, and that means you can be out for 10 years at a time. Should it be professional footballers? Why not be a patent decorator? You'll be fine then. Or yeah. do so. But, so you'll not get any more contracts off me, that's for sure. And um, I'll let try to, you know, I'm not far fest. I think managers should speak out a little bit instead of like protecting them all the same. It's a disgrace when they don't get it done, that's what I think. Okay, and you mentioned there was a behind closed door friendly yesterday. We won't discuss who it was against or anything like that but no. how did that go and um, how has that helped you for Saturday? I agree it gets people 45 minutes each if you like um, uh, the lads are playing ever so well they reckon was you know they listen 
There's a level somebody see us all it might not have been a penalty against Wrexham. Hey, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's just people being thick and stupid. Um, I got an apology off a referee. I got an apology off an assessor. We're done. Um, there's all the referees rang us up and said, Hans, out. anywhere else on the pitch, that's not only a, a penalty, it's a, it's a red card. That's what it is. That's yeah. how, so uh, it's ridiculous. So, uh, as, um, you know, when somebody said, well, it was 50 50 50. So obviously, so, uh, obviously we just forgot to speak to us because, uh, but it'd be fair, uh, you know, it doesn't give anything. But they have apologised and they have rang us up and said, okay, but I wonder if I get my fine money back from a yellow card. I wonder if Josh Case could get his yellow card back. And um, But that's the only things that get to me. But if a lad's made a mistake, he's made a mistake. Yeah, we did enough to get a point there. We don't play well against that, so the form has been great, the form has been fantastic, I'm really pleased how we're playing, I'm really pleased how we're passing the ball. The only concern we've got to work on this week is defensively, because defensively, if you think about it, affect what's done a little bit, sure. because it's a lot of games to catch up again early on, and you're thinking we're 14th still, I think it's something like that, but if I'd have nicked a couple of wins, we could have been there, but you know, we're not going to get judged till the end of the season anyway, and then, like I say, I think you and us want to get in the top half of the table, I believe we can do that. Right. And uh, Eastleigh away on Saturday. I see you're all set up to show the yep. lads your, your, your analysis of how they play. But how do you think the game's going to go? Well, like excellent against Dover last week. We were, uh, Ian went to the game and um, it's going to do a talk on it now. But excellent last week. Obviously, Grimsby's flying, so he didn't take too much of that. Um, you know, so, but it's a game we'll, we're going to attack. Then we've got a nice easy run in him with Chesterfield, Knox County, and <laughs> Grimsby. But that's what we're in the league for to compete against these teams. Like I say, yeah, um, hey boys. We'll be seeing, you know, I think we're 60 61 or 100 1 at the start of the season. I think we'll be in the top half of the table, I really do. And Good. I think if we do, it'll be an excellent achievement. Couldn't agree more. Thanks very much for your time this morning, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. No problem. Okay, chill.